This next episode of Trivia in Chief is about our 30th president, Calvin Coolidge, known as Silent Cal. John Calvin Coolidge Jr. was born in Vermont in 1872. His father, John Calvin Coolidge Sr., was a storekeeper and notably public. The younger Coolidge began going by Calvin during his childhood to differentiate himself from his father. He attended Amherst College and graduated in 1895. He was admitted to the bar in 1897. His first political office came in 1898, when he was elected a Northampton, Massachusetts city councilman. He was elected mayor in 1909. He was elected a Massachusetts state senator in 1911, and in 1915 was made lieutenant governor. He was elected governor of Massachusetts in 1918. In 1919, the Boston police went on strike. As governor, Coolidge sent him a national guide, stating, there is no right to strike against public safety by anybody, anywhere, any time. Coolidge gained national attention for this, waiting to him be chosen as Warren G. Hiding's running mate at the 1920 election. Hiding won the election by a landslide. Coolidge initially found his duties as vice president dull, and became known for his quiet and reserved nature, and for a nickname created for him, Silent Cow. It was a well-known fact he hated official dinners, but he continued to attend them. When asked why, he famously said, Got to eat somewhere. Alice Roosevelt Longworth, the daughter of Teddy Roosevelt, once said of Coolidge, When he wished he were elsewhere, he pursed his lips, folded his arms, and said nothing. He looked then precisely as though he'd been weaned on a pickle. According to legend, a guest at one dinner turned to Coolidge and said, Mr. Vice President, I made a bet with my friends that I could get you to say at least three words this evening. According to the story, Coolidge simply replied, You lose. On August 2nd, 1923, President Hiding died. At the time, Coolidge was visiting his father in Vermont. On August 3rd, 1923, at 2.47am, Coolidge's father, a notary public, administered the oath of office. John Calvin Coolidge Sr. remains the only father of a president to administer the presidential oath. After the scandals of hiding came to a public spotlight, Coolidge helped regain the trust of Americans in the office of a president. In December 1923, Coolidge addressed Congress in the first presidential speech broadcast over radio. Coolidge became a supporter of civil rights and signed the Indian Citizenship Act, which made Native Americans full citizens. He also appointed African Americans to many government positions. Coolidge ran for his second term in 1924. He had a decisive victory over Democrat candidate John W. Davis. Shortly before the election, Coolidge's 16-year-old son was killed by blood poisoning, which devastated his father. His second term was defined by the height of a roaring twenties. He announced he would not be running for a third term during a trip to Black Hills in 1927. During this vacation, Coolidge dedicated Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Coolidge was almost nominated for president in the 1932 election, but he declined. He passed away January 5th of 1932. Calvin Coolidge mentioned his quiet and reserved nature in his autobiography, stating, The words of a president have enormous weight and ought not to be used indiscriminately. The next president was Herbert Hoover. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.